Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and about a week ago I posted a video on how to get the Android operating system running on your iPhone 3G. Well, now iPhodroid has been upgraded to beta 0 0.6, and it includes a fully automated installer, so you don't have to SSH anything in anymore. And if you don't like it, you can uninstall it, which before you couldn't. And now it also works 100% for the first generation iPhone. So in order to do this, you're going to have to be on an iPhone 3G or the first generation iPhone and those are the only two devices it works with currently and you have to be on firmware 3.1.2 and you cannot be jailbroken with Spirit because it's user land and it interferes uh, with iBoot so if you meet those criteria you have to go into Cydia and you have to get a thing called OpenSSH now just search for it I'll put a call out up here saying OpenSSH it's really easy all you have to do is just get it and download it and uh, once you have that installed, you're going to need to know your iPhone's IP address. So if you have SV settings, you can just quickly slide over. And it tells you your iPhone's Wi-Fi IP address right there. And just uh, have SSH enabled, obviously. Now that I have that covered, you're going to need to download it from this website. Right here. And this will always have the latest versions. And right now, like I said, it's 0 0.6 beta. So just download it. And then once you download it, you'll get this. And also, this is only for Mac as of now. This could change. Basically, once you just load up iPhone Droid, select your device. I have an iPhone 3G, so just tick that off and then go next. And then I uh, hit either install or uninstall. Now I want to install it, so I'm going to hit next. And then computer's password and then your Wi Fi IP address. And it shows you the steps how to get it right here just through the settings method. And then once you have that entered, just hit next and then it connects to your device and then just put in your SSH password by default it's Alpine A-L-P-I-N-E and then as you can see it said connecting and now it's going through all the steps now don't worry if you get any errors up here none of the errors really matter uh, it'll still work 100% and as you can see here it tells you the run time for each step and for the first step it says it's uh, about 40 seconds and it's on step 2, deploying utilities on iPhone, and it says the runtime will take about 80. Okay, so now it's on step 3 out of 15, and it says extracting Zephyr 2. And it just went past that really quick, and now it's on step 4, and it also says extracting Zephyr 2 on step 5, extracting Zephyr 2, and it's just different folders and files, and those went by really, really super quick, and this one's over right now. And now it's on step six, uh, where it says transfer Zephyr 2 Cal to W area. And that's also really quick, and it says it's going to take about 10 seconds, and it's done. Now step seven, it says transfer F Zephyr 2 protocol W area. And uh, it says runtime about 10 seconds. So now it's on step eight out of 15, transfer Zephyr 2 bin to W area. Uh, runtime also about 10 seconds. And now step nine, and... Step 10, copying Z kernel to iPhone. Sorry guys if I'm going a little too fast, but uh, it's going a little bit too fast for me even. Step 11, copying Android uh, image to iPhone. It says runtime about 20 seconds. Step 12, copying RAM disk to iPhone. Runtime about 15 seconds. Step 13, copying cache to iPhone. Now it's on step 14 out of 15. It says copying core system to iPhone and runtime will be about 9. So now it's on step 15 out of 15. And it says copying user data to iPhone about two minutes. Now this could vary depending on who you have for your internet provider and what speeds you're downloading and uploading at. Okay, so now it's finished. And now it's saying open iBoot. So it's asking if I already have it installed. And I'm going to say no, and I want to install it. So now it's asking if I want it to make a backup of NOR. So basically if you don't have uh, iBoot installed already, just click yes please just in case anything messes up. So now it says uh, enter scroll mode and if you don't know what it is you can click what is this but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So basically all you have to do is hold down the home and the power button together and just keep waiting and it'll take roughly about 20 seconds and make sure you do not let go and continue holding even after the boot logo pops up and continue holding even after the recovery logo pops up and then you can let go as soon as you start to see the scrolling text and just cancel out of iTunes once it pops up. And it says it's preparing to install, uh, so it says please do not interrupt runtime about 60 seconds. The little terminal window pops up and it says error on backup the NOR. It says 
restart your device and try again. Just click OK. And if it did happen to say that, just open up iPhone Droid again, select your device, and then hit Utility, and then uh, hit Open iBoot, and then hit Install, and then say No again because you don't have it. Sorry guys, you can't back it up, but you don't really need to back it up. I've never backed up mine before. It's fine. And again, it's saying preparing to install, do not interrupt, runtime 60 seconds. So now the text changed and it says 0 0.6, and that's probably for uh, the 0 0.6 bit. And now it's flashing all these files onto your device for iBoot. And now it's rebooting, and now it says iPhone Droid is done. So now when you reboot, I'm just going to disconnect it here. You have the option to go into iPhone OS or into console. And you can change this with the volume buttons as well as the power button up at the top. So I'm going to pick iDroid to show you guys. Okay, so now the little Linux guy popped up there, the penguin. And it's going through a smaller scrolling text phase, which means it's almost done. And for this whole process, until it gets to the Android logo, it'll take about a minute to two minutes. Okay, guys, so now the Android logo's popped up and it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to roughly a minute and 30 seconds to boot up into the Android operating system. So I'll be back when it's finished. Okay guys, so mine actually popped up surprisingly fast and originally it said no service, but now it's saying I do have service and that actually does say AT&T, but it's in hex right there, so uh, you won't be able to tell what it says. And to unlock it, just hold down the home button and then if you have a pattern set it's going to ask you to draw the pattern and now this isn't a hundred percent functional yet he said he was going to make it better and improve uh, different functions of it but as of now it works pretty good so this is ICU2 signing out